emotions were a waste of time they were a barrier they were a burden because ew i want to make money and be rich not emotional but then i thought about it and i was like you know what if you have emotions you have them for a reason and if anything as a woman not being in tune with your emotions being in touch with your emotions understanding your emotions what triggers them and whatnot that's a superpower if nothing else no, I'm not saying that your emotions should too much dictate anything because as a Christian woman, as a God-fearing woman, God dictate, dictates my movements. That's how I want it to be. But there are those days where I be, I, I don't forget. It just be in a moment, it's like, all right, Lord, if you don't get them these emotions, will help me out, Holy Ghost, what we gonna do? So it'd be one of those, not that I forget. But... Um, I do have a couple of tools that I have started doing and with every topic I, I am going to be sharing with every topic I am going to be sharing different tools with y'all. I might set this with my Fenty powder Let me see what skin tone I am because you know when it's going to leave so do the skin color All right. Anyhow One of the tools that I use for my emotional That I will be using for my emotional glow up here Is going to be my first tool and I got notes that's why I'm looking down um, self check-ins check in with yourself daily weekly momentary momentarily even if you need to because that's the thing like check in with yourself make sure that you're good emotionally I know that I have gotten to be one of those people who like I'm so ready to check and be there for other people that I kind of forget to be there for myself so I have I am going to start implementing self check-ins daily and going to the next tool here one of the best ways to do that is by journaling just simply ask yourself in your journal and write it down so that you can have an honest and open moment with yourself because i don't care what nobody say it's possible to lie to yourself that's why people be in 50 year marriage and knowing they ain't happy but that's because they don't know what they're eating um ask yourself if you're okay like what's today a good day did anything bother to me did, any, did anything bother me was I triggered by anything? And if I was, why? And how do we get a resolution? So we don't want to just point it out. We also need to figure out how we're going to fix it. So there's that. I just set my face with my Fenty powder in the color banana. It did what it, it did. What it did. So that's my first tool there. Journaling, uh, self-check-ins with the journaling. Prayer. Pray. That's one of the best ways to emotionally take care of yourself pray because one of the things is that we have emotions and if god gave them to us we're obviously supposed to have them for a reason but the emotion shouldn't control too much of what we do if anything we feel the emotion and we need to take it to god that's what i've had to realize i'm an emotional being but at the end of that emotion it's like not even at the end of it let me fix that when i feel an emotion coming in it's god this is how i feel god please help me to flip it or help me understand why I'm here. God, use this so that I can grow from it and not destroy the seed that you've given me by feeling this emotion. Because emotions can only dictate so much. Because if we all acted on emotions, the world would be one big psych war. Not that it's not already. Hmm. Revelation. <laughs> Anywho, my next one is I also have down here praise and worship and daily devotionals. That's the way that I make sure to take care of my emotions because going back to making sure that my emotions are not the God that I serve, making sure that the God that I serve is the one that I'm giving my emotions to. So one of the best ways that I do that, praise and worship and prayer, they go hand in hand. Use them together. Together. So let me do my eyebrows and I'm going to be right back with y'all. 
and to do my eyebrows i am using my anastasia beverly hills i'm using the uh pencil i finally got away from the pomade for the simple fact that this pencil is quick it is easy and it works it's a brush on one end i got a spoolie on one end and the actual makeup oh lord i got a brush or the spoolie on one end and then the applicator on the other so let me go ahead and fill these in i can't talk and do it at the same time so hold on Lord, I am curly dots out the lines a little bit. <laughs> Wait a minute. And do y'all have a favorite eyebrow or is it just me? Like one of your eyebrows, you know that that's going to be the homegirl and the other one going to be the one that's late for the party. Let me know in the comments because I definitely have a favorite eyebrow. I'm pretty sure it's my left eyebrow. It just does what it's supposed to do on its own. You never have to work too hard. And it's really the shape. It's just, it's that girl. It's that girl. So, now that those are filled in, I'm going to go ahead and pop just a little, a little bit of concealer underneath. I am finally released from the shackles of lining my eyebrows all the way around like a freaking puppy. And it didn't make sense before. It makes way more sense now. Good Lord. Sister Y'all know something that I learned about eyebrows that like really carried me. They are sisters, not twins. Ever since I didn't learn that, honey, they is it's just quick and easy and simple. Y'all not gonna get on my nerves because y'all don't want to match today. So, <clears throat> my eyebrows are finished. Natural. That's my fancy pink cousin friend. They came without telling me that they were going to do it. We're going to have to pop up a few pictures. So, now that my eyebrows are done, I'm going to move on to my eyeshadow because I'm never going to be I actually like eyeshadow again. I'm going to be using my the Sahara palette by Juvia's Place. Now, before we get into that, let's hop over to this next topic, right? Spiritually. Um, I don't know about y'all. But in the last, ever since COVID has been happening, so has a lot of stuff been happening spiritually. It's just a little, it's a little, it's a little crazy. It's a little wild out here because it's like we got to live, but then we got to maintain. Live as in we still have to be humans. Maintain as in are you taking care of your spirit man while you're taking care of your flesh man? Because a lot of times we'll do for the flesh and not for the spirit. And they they're they're literally they're in they're in the same. They just have to be cared for differently. It's like how all the organs are in the body. They work together, but you got to care for them differently. They all need different things to be tended to. So I say that to say. How are you taking care of yourself spiritually? Me personally, praise and worship is a huge part of my life. I don't believe I start a day without praise and worship or prayer. 
as I was saying before, when I was talking about emotions, praise and worship and prayer, they work, to, they work together. Because if you're going to pray, I believe that when you approach God, it needs to be with thanksgiving. It needs to be, God, I, refer, I reverence you. It needs to be, God, you are awesome. God, you are mighty. God, you, God, I love you. Before I ask you for something, like to me, it, it, it just, you got to set the atmosphere. That's what I'm trying to say. That's how I want to say it. Set the atmosphere before, you know, you just run up on them. Like, it's those moments where you got to pray like, oh, God, please don't let me slap this hoe today. That's, that can be a prayer. That's been my prayer sometimes, but mind your business. But then there are those times where, like, you are really trying to, you really want to have a moment with God. So you're just like, God, I love you. You know, you have your music playing in the background. You are trying to usher in the presence of God. You are literally setting the atmosphere for what you are believing and trusting and having faith in God to do. So for me, I'm, I'm praising worship all day. I'm a worshiper. That's what I do. That's that's the that's the essence of my being. I'm a worshiper. I'm gonna start with that. As soon as I'm, as soon as you know, I feel like the atmosphere is set. As soon as I know the atmosphere is set, because he's been dealing with me about the, the knowing and the feeling too. That's another topic. Um, as soon as I know that the atmosphere is where it needs to be, that's when I go in and I begin to make my petition known because. It's just real wild. This how this is this is how I think about it. There are those of us who talk to God every single day, but then there are those of us who have an understanding that it'll be it'll be real janky if every time I talk to you, all I do is ask you for something. And it can also be like where you are relationally with God, well, relationship wise with God, because if you never talk to Him unless you want something, that's that's. Don't talk to me only when you want something because then I don't want to talk to you. And you're probably not going to get what you want from me. Not saying that that's how God is, but that's my viewpoint of people. And if I'm so madly in love with God, I don't want to just talk to you when I want something. I want to talk to you just because I love you. That's it. It's that simple. People overcomplicate love when it can be so simple. Just because you love me, X, Y, and Z. So just because I do love you, God. I praise you and I worship you like that that in itself is just a whole moment to be had but that can just be the heart of a worshiper I don't know I don't know I feel like I'm still a babe so forgive me for still being in this like la la land now don't don't get me wrong we know how to go to war <laughs> don't get me don't don't try her because she is that too but when it comes to worshiping that is the that is the space that I love to be in with God because I'm going to worship but then I'm also going to be in that space where he can respond to me, and I know that it is going to be a response. That it all just, it's, it's a flow. It's a flow you got to get into when you're ready for it. Really before you're ready. And I'm going to go ahead and drop this in there too. Um, everything is not about how you feel. We are so big on that these days. Well, I feel this, so I had to do this. I'm not saying that how you feel does not matter. One of my favorite friends did have to teach me that how you feel matters. But what you know has to matter more than what you feel sometimes. Especially when it comes to the things of God. Because the Holy Spirit will wake me up at a strong 327 <laughs> on so many days of the week. And I'll be like, I do not feel like getting up. And now later and I try to pray and it's like, I also don't feel like getting out of my bed to pray. Can I just lay down? And it's like, no, I'm, I'm, I've already told you what to do. And you're going to do what you feel like doing or you're going to do what you know to be. Because obedience is better than sacrifice. And doing things, even if you are praying because you're not following the full instruction, that's disobedience. Telling on myself. But it is what it is. You got it. You have to do what you know you're supposed to do. So he's gotten me all the way together with that because it's like, do what I told you to do. And when I tell you to do it, because if you do when you feel when you feel like doing it, diso disobedience. So let's get into this eye makeup. I'm using my Sahara palette. Now, this is the only thing, these colors are like loud, but they're subtle at the same time. But what color is this? Cassina, I love her in my crease. I don't think I've gone to a different color yet. So we're gonna use hers. 
today. Let me find a tiny blending brush. Let me brush this palette off. And this brush set that I'm using is from Ross. I have yet to become the beauty girl who gets all of her brushes from Sephora. But eventually Below is gonna allow me to create my own brush line. And y'all can put that a big tad better. So I'm doing circular motions in my crease just to create a blend here. I don't want one block of color along my eyelid. And it's so subtle. Do you see how pretty that is? It's just subtle. It is subtle. Okay. And again, we're doing circular motions along the crease. And I don't know about y'all, but I, it's like, do I do it above my crease or below my crease or in the crease? But we just let the Holy Spirit lead us because she does something different every time. Okay. And I'm blending. Yes. So, what you see. Okay. So now that that color is there, I want to hold on. Let me use this. I'm gonna use this pink down here. Whoa! This pink over here. I'm gonna be using her really quick. Let's see what she can do for this girl. And then I think I'm gonna play. Let's just let's just play around. Let's just play around for fun. So, and also, my next topic while I'm sitting here, this is the one that, um, this one I'm nervous, uh, is literally, I don't know about y'all, but I feel like working out is almost a cuss word. Like, exercise, but you need it. So, for anybody who does, who hasn't watched my very first video, I had to do, and I am still recovering from a disability. There are days that I wake up where I don't have full feeling in my legs. Like I have to, it's, it's almost a process of like, okay, we're gonna stand up now. And then after I stand up, I allow myself a moment to stretch. After I stretch my legs and I feel like my nerves tingling a little bit, then I'm like, okay, now let's take a couple of steps. So the whole like, working out thing i know it's necessary it is a necessity especially if i'm going to recover fully but it's like when so i said that to say she's going to start working out before the new year because i need the habits in place before the new year gets here because i know if i don't it, it it simply won't happen it simply will not happen so next to working out because i am going to start working out Probably tonight, honestly, if not sometime today, I need to figure out where I can fit that in to balance things out. So I am going to start working out. So my next step of that is going to be um, a balanced diet or just having a better diet altogether. Now, I'm, I'm, I have pretty healthy dietary habits for the most part, but I like pizza and I like to snack. But then we also know that fruit can be sweet and it can also be a snack. But it's like the snacks that I want, I want little Debbie cakes and I want french fries all the freaking time. And I will never pass up, pass up a crab boil. And that's salt. No, nothing but salt. But it's like, give me what I want. Let yourself have it. But then there we go. That's, that's, it's trouble. It's trouble. So my next thing on the um, physical list, exercise, vitamins are a huge part of my life. I have a subscription to Care Of. It is a monthly vitamin subscription. You can also get um, 
powders, you can get shake powders, you can get quick sticks, which are like a little energy boost, if you will. And then you have your daily vitamins. You, they take you through this assessment. After you do the assessment, they ask you what you would prefer to have, but then they give you a list of what they feel is best for you after you finish your assessment. And then you, you can subscribe to it monthly. They have plant proteins, they have completely vegan options. And they also have, you know, the sweeter, nice stuff, the vanilla, strawberry, chocolate, blase, blase. They have all of that. But it's definitely something that has been helping me out. And then the best thing about the entire shebang is that they have an app. The app reminds you every single day to take your vitamins. That's all I need is a reminder. Even if I don't check in on my app after I see that reminder, vitamins, boom, it's happening immediately, every day. I cannot tell you the difference that I feel after I've taken my vitamins consistently. And it's all because of the app and knowing that for one, I don't have to go to the store and get them, they come to me. Two, y'all are gonna remind me every single day in the cutest little app and the cutest little notification to take, take your vitamins. It's everything, it's everything to me. Okay, let's get this pink bandage on. Okay, now I'm gonna darken it up just a tad because we're doing a daytime look. I have almost, I don't know if this would be considered mauve or not, but this one right here, let's try to play with her. It's a little darker on camera than it is. Let's brush it off. Let's play with it. Let's see. Okay, so next thing on the list here, let's see. Healthy lifestyle options. Um, one of my biggest tools for that is breaks and vacations everybody needs a break and if you have not taken a vacation go on one at least once a year even if it's to some you know little countryside of town even if it's to a little retreat getaway even if it's something as simple as camping out in your backyard it can be something as simple as setting up your home like a resort and turning your phone completely off i know everybody doesn't have the expenses to just hop up and go on vacation honey turn your phone off light a whole bunch of candles turn your bathroom into a spa retreat the rest of your house into a spa retreat and be everybody that you need at this resort turn your home into your own personal vacation and anybody who don't agree put them put put them out because you need a moment okay everybody needs a moment COVID, if if this thing hasn't taught us anything you need to take a break and you need to know that it is okay to take a break people can do, people can do without you for a couple hours if not a couple of days especially moms I'm not saying don't tend to your kids but what I am saying is 30 to 45 minutes where it is allowed or where it's possible give yourself a quick escape even if it's something as simple as a cup of tea with a couple of drops of honey give yourself a break give yourself a break you need it we all need it We're turning it into a cut tree. So those are all the colors that I'm doing. And these are the palettes that I use. So let's pop this back over the wall. Alrighty. So now that we're moving out of physical, also some tools that I do have in physical, um, free workout apps, those exist. Chloe Ting's YouTube channel, that's a whole personal trainer for free. Subscribe. I'm gonna put the link.
Okay, so I just packed on this kind of like champagne color because the color I want to use just doesn't look good. It just looks good, so I'm happy. So I like the color that I used. Okay, just a little razzle dazzle, nothing extreme because I'm not that girl, very simple. So, eyes are steaming. Okay, so the last topic that I have is professionalism. That's one of the areas in my life between physical and professional. That's the biggest areas that I will be focused on um, creating good habits for moving into this next year because she has goals and I can't reach them if I don't plan to reach them so the way I will be getting my professional life together is that I am going to for one time management that's one of the ones that I'm just I'm getting my life together with because don't don't ask why it just it don't come naturally so I'm about to mix these two Fenty shades. I am mixing 7K03 and 8F01, both Pro Filter Matte, I believe. So y'all can see why we're mixing them. I'm between seasons here, so bear with me. But can I get a ring on Okay, I'm gonna mix, 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 mix. Foundation has become my favorite part of my makeup routine. It used to be eyebrows, but now it's the skin. Like, sis, get your skin together. Get the get the get the skin right. While I'm buffing this in, let's go ahead and round this out. Time management taking the opportunities that you are given given and when you're not given any look for them not don't be an opportunist that's not what i'm saying what i am saying is don't be so caught up on the fact that you're not getting any opportunities if you're not doing the equal work to find an opportunity that's not me saying go into every situation like there should be an opportunity but if you're in a place that's not necessarily serving you or that you're not able to serve maybe you may just not be looking for the opportunity to do it so that's that um now as far as let me see 
creating a balance and striving for the goals that you set because I'm the type of person that will set a goal and will completely forget to strive for the goal that I've set. As stupid as that sounds, I do that. So, I'm also using my Fenty um, Concealer. This concealer dries down so well for me. So well. And not like where it dries down really, dries down really fast. This is it's good. It's really good. No. creating a balance that's something that's very important to me because i went from being a stay-at-home mom to jumping full full fledged in to being to working full time so to me i didn't understand at first how to create balance i just felt like i was really missing out on doing things with my child missing out on being able to completely be secluded and be with god for days at a time like i didn't understand how to create a balance at first that was something that i really did have to grow into and learn but a few things that really did help me were doing um prayers and devotionals still fasting just learning how to fast while still having to live while still having to tend to your responsibilities those things that most definitely helped me out a bunch so ever since i started implementing that things have kind of come together things that definitely do help me out a whole bunch as far as balance planners alarms using the alarms on your phone um and budgeting all of it is hand in hand for me they work out perfectly together I'm going to go back in with that same setting powder that I started my face with when I set my um, primer and I'm going to go ahead and set my face, contour and everything and then I will be back in a moment. y'all so this is my finished face had a whole conversation and did her makeup that girl so don't forget to like comment and subscribe um definitely follow my instagram becoming brooke underscore or either underscore becoming brooke you never know it'll be linked down below but i hope y'all enjoyed this video and i will see y'all in my next one bye